Hi, I'm John Swartz from Miller Electric, and we're here today in Burbank, California at Hollywood Hot Rods. I'm here with uh, Kyle Canole, and today we're going to be fabricating an upper fan shroud. Uh, we're going to be using the MIG process, and I'll let Kyle kind of go over a little bit uh, some of the reasons why we're doing that today. Well, we're going to use the MIG because we got a tank roll on each side to make a nice curve on this piece. Um, and we don't really hammer in here on this corner, so we'll use MIG to keep down the heat affected zone so we don't get too much warpage. Okay, now will this be a complete weld all the way through, continuous, or are you going to be doing something else? We'll do a series of tack welds to keep heat down and grind them as we go um, until it's completely welded. Okay, well let's get to it. All right. All right, Kyle, show us what you're going to be doing here first. Okay, here we're going to put our tank roll in both of our panels before okay. we weld them together. Okay. And then the pieces, they'll fit together like that. You get okay. a nice radius. Kyle finishes getting set up right here. The machine that he's going to be using is the Millermatic 211 with auto set and MVP plug. Uh, it's a good product for this application in particular, uh, primarily because in this shop there's only two 230 volt plugs and they can actually use this machine pretty much anywhere. All right, Kyle, what are we going to be doing now? All right, so now is we put these up together and we can tack them together and uh, start welding. Okay. So really all you're going to do now is just lay a series of, of tack welds along the, uh, the joint. Exactly. Okay. So what kind of parameters are you using for this right now? Well, we're using 023 wire in it. Okay. And uh, I don't have it on auto set because there isn't one for 023. Okay. But since I'm doing just a series of tacks, I wanted to dial in a little bit more heat. Okay. Normally what I do when I'm doing sheet metal is I'll go through and I'll do my series of tacks, but I'll let it cool and then I'll grind them down most of the way. Okay. So that I'm not uh, building weld on top of weld. So when I end up closing all these gaps, that I'm not, I actually get my penetration because I'm not building on top of the previous okay. stack. Okay, that makes sense. And also it cuts down on the heat that I'm gonna put into it when I'm grinding these down. Okay. Okay, Cal, explain to me what we have here so far. Okay, well it took me about five or six passes of uh, tacking and then grinding to fill up the whole seam. Okay. So I've got that done now. By this time your weld should be just about all the way ground down, and now all you have to do is finish grinding it and you're done. So obviously we didn't create an entire upper fan shroud, but basically what we did here would be similar to what you guys had done on this corner. Yeah, it'd be exactly the same process. Okay, so now why did you choose MIG again, just to recap? Uh, we did MIG because it's quick, and uh, it's gonna keep our heat affected zone down, which is gonna keep our warpage down, and we weren't gonna hammer this anyway, so MIG is perfect for that. Okay, well good. Cal, thank you very much. No problem. And for more videos just like this, make sure to visit MillerWelds.com.